The following video may not be suitable for children 13 and under. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel, Enu Tavi here, and today we're going to take a look at G.I. Joe Classified Retro Card Back, Sergeant Stalker, or Stalker, or Sergeant Stalker, I, I never can get used to the Sergeant Stalker thing, it's always just been Stalker, so uh, glad to take a look at this, I'm still needing the Cobra Trooper, uh, hopefully that'll get freed up at some point here, so I can take a look at that, um, this is going to be kind of an interesting figure, because, you know, normally I really, really like the retro stuff, but just from what I'm seeing, um, this is just a simple color change. And this is, uh, I don't know. The original that we got released, this one right here, is pretty damn good. So, I don't know. We'll see. But, retro card back here. Kind of got the art uh, as a nod to the figure here. Flip it around. You can see the back. Roll Ranger. Primary Specialty Infantry. Secondary mail to secondary specialty medic interpreter, uh, Detroit, Michigan. Generals may win campaigns, but it's the sergeants who win the battles mostly by yelling and kicking butt. Functions well in their high stress situations, intelligent, perceptive, moves like some sort of jungle cat, silent, fast, strong. So, uh, like this character in general, just because, uh, Stalker was the first. G.I. Joe 3.75 inch figure I got as a kid. Very first one. Uh, I know, I like, I got strong memories of, like, G.I. Joe and certain toys. It was him. It was Snake Eyes. It was Cover Girl. And uh, this was the very first. So, was getting this one regardless. If there is very little difference or whatever, but uh, that's what it is. So, the cards are super thick. Going over this. I got this from CMD Store. People ask. Uh, been using CMD for years, so uh, if you'd like to get stuff ahead of time sometimes, and don't mind paying a couple bucks more. I usually lump it in with other things, so uh, it's not just G.I. Joe I get from there, Transformers, Masters of the Universe, stuff like that, so the shipping isn't that bad, but it's up to you if you want to go that route uh, or not. So, cross sale there, Cobra Trooper, and that's pretty much it. All right, let's open it up, take a look at it. We'll compare against the original. And uh, let's get started. Before we go too far, though, if you're watching this, please think about liking the video, sharing the video, subscribe to the channel, becoming a member. That becoming a member thing, let me tell you, that's very helpful to the channel. Um, you know, yeah, make some money off YouTube, but that just goes a little bit further to buy additional stuff. So I can keep going and buying more figures and stuff like that. So I really would appreciate it. Link below in the description. Click that link. And for like a dollar or something a month, you become a member. So. Thanks for checking that out. All right, let's open it up. All right, accessories. We've got a stand, which is always great. Love that. Retro those cards and stands. My biggest complaint about classified in general, other than the gummy weapons, which some have started to get better, but this is not one. So this one is still gummy. But uh, get a stand. You get a bray. Gold right there. Uh, was pretty good. We've got uh, his... Back uh, holster or gun case or wherever you want to do it. And I just noticed there's a thing for the magazine. I don't remember noticing that one on the original, but it is. How do I not notice that? But you got a thing for the magazine, I guess, go in there. You can put the, uh, what is this, M32 pulverizer, which is like a HK or something type weapon. Got to be. Just looks too much. So it was a G3. Uh, you got that kind of stock the wireframe like that. You can put it in here, take your magazine out like that. God, look how bendy that. I just bent the crap out of that like that. And then plug your mag in a little pouch if you want to do that. I don't think I will. I think I'll just rock it like this, but we'll see. Uh, got a knife. Blade is pretty thick right there. Look at that thing. Silver, black handle, got a little bend to it, but uh, some detailing on the handle, a little texturing might can notice. 
we've got a Colt 45 extended mag. Doesn't come out. Uh, look at that though. That thing, it's got a bend in the middle. So not sure how you do that. Um, but the two time world champion wars is uh, bent right in the middle. Oh God, I'm right. That's crazy. Comes with a modern type suppressor mounts in there. You've kind of seen this before. These are all the same things that you've seen with their, the other version. Nothing new there. And then you've got this gun here, which I think is the FN, uh, or based on the FN. I don't know what they call it now, but this is, I think this is what they kind of run now, right? Or they were doing it in trials. I forget what it's called, but, uh, looks nice. You know, nothing new here. Uh, kind of. So we'll bring in Stalker here. Um, hair, I think, is different. Yeah, it is. Look at it. He's got... Okay, he's got a fade in the old version, not in this one. Uh, got the green camo. Love the green camo, man. It's just a real good nod. I mean, Stalker's a ranger. He's in the comic. He was, you know, he was long-range recon patrol in Vietnam. Um, you know, I don't know if he's one of those Mac V-Saw guys or... Or what they were in a group, him, Storm Shadows, Snake Eyes, what was it, Dicky, and another dude, forget the names. Um, you know, Rangers kind of think of two different ways. Vietnam, you know, that's a little bit before I was born when it was over. So, uh, yeah, that it kind of reminds me more of Rangers or, or like, you know, Mogadishu, Black Hawk Down, that sort of thing. But the camo, definitely Tiger Stripe, not, you know, different kind of. Tiger Strike camo, but looks pretty cool. Um, yeah, but if you got this guy here, um, and this is a look, look at him legs, man. These things have got a little floppy. Look at that. It's just been sitting on the shelf, and that's got really wobbly. If you've got this version and you like it, I don't think you need to retro it unless there's just a personal connection or something you really enjoy because you can look at the two. This one. Modern take, I think it looks good. Uh, you get, get the scarf. You don't get that in this version. I think the braid looks better. Uh, I don't have it exactly the best, but yeah. I mean, other than the paint, there, that is really the only difference. And, you know, I just like this color. I have a shelf that goes original Joe's. And like the ones I got, so there's like Retro Scarlet, Retro Duke, uh, the Arctic Commandos, Snake Eyes, and then we got Stalker, uh, and there's another one. Uh, but yeah, so it, did you need to buy this? I think this is probably going to be a pass for a lot of people. And that knife is really tight in there for some reason. Let's try it the other way. There's, that's better. Um, I don't know how many people are going to pick it up, but I think it's a cool figure. You know, it's up to you how you want to spend your money. If you've already got the other version, I don't think you necessarily need this version, you know, but if you're a collector of Joe, then maybe what I say don't matter. And you're just like, well, I'm going to get it anyway. And that's fine too. Um, I just wish it was something a little different. You know, sometimes when they do retro, they 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 change it enough to where it's cool. Like when they did Duke, they did Scarlet. And, you know, they hadn't done Scarlet before. They did like the movie and they did the, the original release. But they did the retro version really good. They did the Duke version really good. This one, there's not a lot. There's no real big differences. And I think that's unfortunate. I think the figure in general is pretty cool. But it seems like they could have done more here. Uh, I don't know what that solution is. Uh, and that doesn't want to go in there very good right now. So we just drop the bent 45 in the holster. Uh, I don't know what the solution is. Do you go more like towards the cartoons and add like stuff in there? I don't know if you add like, uh, you know, he had a jump pack. You know, you can always pick one up from like the steel troopers or whatever, the steel core or, or whatever we call those guys. Get those. You can do that. Just feel like there needs to be a little bit more in this package to justify it. I think it looks good. Just feels like it's missing that little thing that you need to make this a, a really great figure. Um, and he's got to be a lefty. Yep. For this stock to make sense. 
So there he is. Green camo pops. I mean, no doubt. Definitely looks good. Stands out on the shelf. But uh, yeah. Let me know in the comments. You picking this guy up? Like I said, I think pure nostalgia is the winner on this one for me. Um, I'm glad I got it, of course. You know, but because I have all the retro, so I can't not get it at this point. Well, I'm missing. Actually, no, I don't have all the retro. I am missing one. Uh, Crimson Guard. I do need to get that one at some point. Fix that issue. Uh, but there it is. Thanks for watching the video. I do appreciate it. Like I said, think about subscribing to the channel. Like, share the video. And uh, we'll see you down the road. Yo, Joe.